Hi, they call me LP Miser. Six, and this is F Zero Part Two. Jesus Christ! I just got bit by a cat. Sorry. We're gonna be playing as Doctor Stewart in the Golden Fox. And ooh, look at that bad boy. That accelerates like mm -mm -mm good. This is reportedly the worst car in the game, but honestly, I do the best with the Falcon. The Fire Stingray is everybody's favorite, but not mine. Just because I suck at competitive type things. I'm very casual and everything. I'm very, you know, jack of all trades and everything I do. I figured out how to change the difficulty. I had them all unlocked from the start. Beginner, standard, expert. You just press select. <laughs> oh well, we're doing standard. I bet I'm gonna lose. Welcome back to Mute City. Also, you always... The Fire Stingray always comes first at the beginning of the uh, race. Well, the beginning of the... Ow, Jesus Christ! Goodbye. Ow, oh my God, ow! Ooh! I don't think I can make it back. I'm giving up. I'll see you guys in a second. I got a little distracted because somebody decided to d destroy me. Okay, I am back. And why do you start out with three and immediately lose one? That's, I don't know, that seems kind of strange. I think there's a zero, so it doesn't really matter. And yes, I know I don't have to go into the little special zone. Every single obstacle in this game has a name. Everything in this game has a name, except for like one thing. And I can't remember what it is. Oh god, I don't know the pathways. Why does this lose power so quickly? Jesus Christ! I can see why this is the worst car. You can't withstand anything. Oh well, we're gonna be doing it. We're gonna be using this car. I'm not, I'm using all four cars completely, and nothing is gonna stop me. Plus, we're only in Mute City 2. This is where Dr. Stewart is from. His father built the machine, and Dr. Stewart, or see, the, well, it was Dr. Kevin Stewart was the original, the senior, you know, that built the, built the, the machine. I'm sorry, those are simple words that I already said. I, I said, I don't need to stutter on them. And ever since his father's passing, he has been the one to use and race the machine. So I guess that implies it's been around for at least a good bit of time for his father to race it. So, you know, maybe it's been around 60 years or so. Uh, I honestly have no idea. I'm just making guesses. I don't know much F-Zero lore. But, you know, I'm very excited to get into the series eventually. Perhaps not until I let's play the next games in the series. But I have no idea of knowing. As long as I rank in, I'm okay. I don't have to get first place. I just wanna, just wanna beat the game. I don't think you have to rank first place total. I just wanna, I just wanna do it to see the ending. There is an ending. I think you just beat a circuit. Maybe the final circuit, or, you know, King League on expert difficulty and I'm trying to scale my way up because I do not think I can handle expert difficulty therefore I don't think I've ever seen the ending of this game I don't even think I've seen the ending of this game on video so it will be a big first for us I have done every track have I finished every track I think so <laughs> I mean I went out of my way to unlock all the tracks and records and then I went back and played it a little bit more and you know had a good old time this is one of those games where it's easy to pick up and play at any time, really. Because uh, it's a very short game. I didn't even realize it was this short until uh, my girlfriend came, my fiance came in and was like, how much longer is it going to take? It's just racing. It can't take a lot that long. And I said, what you're doing in the game has nothing to do with the game's length. There's platformers that are shorter than this game. But then I remembered this is only the three circuits and that's it. And, you know... Or is that it? <laughs> if you'll notice, the boost at the beginning, you get a boost, but it's kind of useless because then everybody gets ahead of you afterwards. I just knocked Captain Falcon off the track. I don't know how long that stays because I don't think they just get out and then they stay out for the entire race. Why? Why? This car does suck. These gravitate you towards them those little rails on the side and they make you lose power so you do not want those in your in your vehicle's existence what is this is this red canyon is this deathwind 2 what is this i don't wait is this port town i don't know what this track is hmm. 
Uh, Dr. Stewart probably has the second least interesting character out of all four because he uh, he just makes a cocky remark to Captain Falcon in the comic and that's about it. I'm not counting later games because I have not been over those yet personally or professionally. <laughs> I'm a professional gamer. Oh my god, I really didn't realize the game was not this bad. I guess I've just gotten better with practice, because originally I couldn't even beat Big Blue. The first time I ever played, I got a game over on like, on like the third course. And, uh, no, I got a game over on Silence. I finally made it to Silence, and then I got a game over and gave up. I never tried the other leagues or anything because I knew they'd be too hard. This is a hard game. It is a, definitely got that 90s difficulty to it. Which I guess is relative. You can't just say 90s difficulty because games nowadays still have difficulty. There's just a lot of hand holding. This is, you know, cryptic. You read the manual for your instructions. There's no tutorials. You jump right straight right into most of these games. And then the difficulty usually doesn't hold back. There's not tons of super guides or anything like that in these old games. This isn't really the most appropriate game for this because I don't know of many racing games that do have super guides. Oh, racing games. Probably very boring to watch. <laughs> but thank you for tuning in to F-Zero. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I worked a 12-hour shift yesterday. This is where Samurai Goro and his band of thieves hide out. Red Canyon. Also, reportedly, according to a Game Facts guide, you can see the rest of the track. Like, say, Mute City 2, you can see parts of Mute City 1's track, but you can't access it. It's, like, blocked off. Which I think is really cool attention to detail. I, I was still just, I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed with the course layouts. I, I mean, of course, it's Nintendo. First Party Nintendo has not failed me yet up to this point in... 1990 of being that impressive and this is back when they rarely license their IPs out for major games like they do these days like even well at least they've never done it with Mario or Zelda for a main game except for one exception but Capcom also like didn't just do the games by themselves for Zelda Nintendo and Capcom jointly did those games and they were damn good I mean, I'm not complaining about half the games they do, like Metroid. Ooh, Retro Studios does an excellent job. Any other company, not so much. Uh, I talked about the bomb car, right? That little flashing car really gets on my nerves when I hit it. Aw, <laughs> oh, I gave myself an asthma attack with all that breathing! Just kidding, I'm just having asthma problems. I differentiate from an asthma attack to a slight asthma inconvenience by saying either asthma convenience or asthma problem. I don't know what the purpose is of that little electric field, but that took away sucked up some of my power. Oh, Fab is gone. I love Fabric. Every time I say your name, not if somebody else says your name, but if I say your name, it makes me think of the Downey commercials with the bear. And I used to think those were so cute. There's certain things in the world I think are so innocent and so, like, untainted that it makes me sad to think about adult life, like, uh... Ooh, okay, get off. No, 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 don't you do this. Oh, please! Okay, at least I'm safe, so I still, I still, I still get it, right? Do you have to, you can rank in, right? You don't have to, this is apparently the most romantic place in the galaxy or no it said the universe i think uh like deathwind was the most beautiful place in the universe this is the most romantic place in the universe i think is what the guide says and i love snow areas i also like this music but i can't hear it so it makes no difference to me oh uh i didn't explain this system i think f1 race has a similar system i can't remember of like you have to make it at this rank and the, I meant F1 Race as a series, not a at least one of the games in the series, not like the original game, uh, where you have to you're safe at a certain point in this lap, 
like it was 15 for that lap, but once I cross the finish line, I have to be in at least 10th place to make it, to be considered, you know, safe and not die and lose a life. Well, you, okay, you don't die, you just, you're ranked out. Oh, the manual also has this really cool detail of like, it's telling you the rules of the racing, not, not, not the video game, but the race. Like, the racing, and uh, not a game. Racing technically is a game, but it, the sport. It's telling you about the sport as if, you know, it's not a video game. It just puts in parentheses, like, B button, or this, or, like, it, when it explains the life system is a good exception. But other than that, it's really, really neat. It really creates that immersion, and Nintendo is really starting to get into their... I guess uh, video games as an art, I guess? I don't know. I feel like F-Zero is a weird place to start for that to make sense, but I don't know. I, I, I think you see where I'm coming from with detailed immersion, where it's just like, it's like those shows or books or movies or whatever with all those hidden details, right? Like that you have to be an avid fan to know that aren't just spelled out for you. And they're not really all that important in the plot. like. Uh, author canon symbolism like this is kind of on that level this is just there's a bunch of useless stuff in there that's just nice to know the world of F-Zero which I think is really cool for what potentially could have been a one-off game which even though games back then and these days aren't necessarily reliant on being a series but I think of games always in terms of series and not individual games if a game is like it, the only game in a series, I'm way less likely to play it, and I shouldn't be that way. Just like indie games, I never play indie games. The first indie game I've played in a very long time is Stardew Valley, and that's that's the reason I came up with the idea for the Pizza Trio. What? Oh, I barely made it safely. Well, so that I would force myself to experience more games, because I never do. And I get to shove them into my games and see what a a, uh, a, a non-biased opinion is of certain games. Like, uh, I really want to know what they would think about Earthbound Beginnings, for example. Because I know Cole likes Earthbound in Mother 3, even though he never beat either of those. Uh, in case you don't know who that is, that's the guy who came in and started talking about school shootings in Part 1. I can't wait to... <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about politics anymore. I'm so sick of it. Power it down. Oh, whoo. Oh. Okay, it's okay. We have other lives. We have four. I didn't explain the point system either, but there is a point system. Hold down here, you won't make it. It took me hours, I think, to figure that out. I, I didn't know what to do. And eventually, I held down and I made it across. Or was it this one? No, I kept barely making it across. I don't know. There's a couple gaps in the game where you're like, I can't do this, until you realize you have to hold down, which they mention at the end of the book, or the end of the manual. So this is like a big old secret. This is for, this is just one of those things that, you know, I feel like a kid would get stuck on and his friend at school would have to explain it to him because he was, you know, an expert. He got the game a little earlier. I wish I got to experience that more. I got to experience it more than I remember. More than I usually remember. Every time I look back on certain games, but there's a few games out there where I did like share secrets with my friends and we would. Uh, it, it, video games are such a nice social experience and I, I'm sad the internet destroyed that. And I'm uh, getting sad that I'm dying! Is this the, this the fifth track, right? Is this White Land 2? They're right next to each other. There's only two, but. I wish the music were more snow oriented. Two laps left, I really cannot, and I need to stop using my speed boost through the power because I'm going to die. My car is going to explode. I love the SNES controller. Now I see why everybody makes such a big deal. Okay, I guess the ice there just destroys your power. That's what it looks like if you lose. You lost. And it goes to a different perspective and shows you that you lost. <laughs> okay, try again. See, we got three more chances. Uh, but every time you cross the finish line, 
Uh, it's either by lap or by rank or both. You get more points, and once you reach a certain amount of points, you get another life. So, you know, the points are useful. And the guide was like, oh, aside from that, I don't even know why they're here. But that's clearly the point, is the extra life system. So, uh, they were like, oh, it's to make it more gamey. He also said, oh, it's a shame. The Fire Stingray is the best car in the game. It's a shame it has to be so pink. <laughs> I thought that was extra funny. Oh, I'm running out of content. I've got nothing to talk about. This is what happens when I make video series too close together. Now, I guess I have to concentrate a little bit more now that this track is when the game kind of starts getting difficult. At least a little bit difficult. Especially on standard difficulty. Now, I'm not ready for expert difficulty. I've still got my spare tires. It's not what I meant. meant. So I was watching King of the Hill last night. And, you know, my dad kicked me out of the Netflix account that I've had since 2010. Because Nintendo was like, oh, we have a new, you know, where you can get Netflix. And I was like, oh, it's Nintendo related. I need Netflix. I never used it when I first got it. But, you know, I started using it increasingly over the years. And my parents paid for it for me. And, you know, it was in my name when I was a kid. And then I grew up. And when I should have gotten it in my name and still made them pay for it, it was too late. Because they changed it to their email because I couldn't access mine anymore. And it was forcing them to put it in their email. Or uh, it was forcing them to get it to get an email confirmation or something. Because the password wasn't working anymore. I don't remember the details. And I knew I had lost. And then my sister got onto it and started paying for it. And her husband and her kid. Z, well, one of her kids... A wasn't born yet, and B still doesn't really use Netflix because he's an infant. But that's not the point. And then they got their own because they heard that you can't share Netflix. And I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. Uh, and so my parents started paying for it. And they didn't mention they wanted me to pay for it. But then eventually my dad heard a rumor that if you're sharing Netflix across households, then uh-uh, you're banned from Netflix. So you get your account denied. So I got kicked off. But he didn't tell me that. I had to find out for myself. I can't crash into anything else. And I'm at the limit. <laughs> this is not looking good, folks. Oh. My max speed. My speed wasn't high enough. Please. Oh. So yeah, I asked him why I, he changed the password, and he said, oh, you're, I'm kicking you out of it. You stop being a tightwad and buy your own Netflix. So now I just don't have a, a service, so I just find what I can, and it's all shitty quality, and I deserve it for being a tightwad, I guess. Hulu is not that expensive, and Hulu is apparently better than Netflix, or so I hear. I wish they could combine and make a Hulu Flix or something, but then, ooh, they have a Monopoly. No, Amazon Video still exists, but no one really cares about Amazon Video, but apparently it's increasing in popularity, and I don't know what to Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. If you slow down just a little, too much you're dead you're not making it across that gap oh i got slightly knocked there at the end so i get a game over and I have to redo everything this game it does get a little bit brutal game over send you back to the start you get nothing that's it you get nothing hmm I'll see you guys in like 10 minutes. Okay, this is an example of one of the cars that is kind of useless that you... Yeah, you saw it there. It was in rank 3 and it's not one of the main 4 cars. And we're back. It is 38 minutes into the Queen League. And I am playing it as Captain Falcon on White Land 2. It took me about 10-15 minutes getting back. I didn't die once. 
I got him first all three races except for Whiteland 1. That was a 3. Because I guess the difficulty really kind of ramps up there. And then it ramps up a lot more here. Which I do not like. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this. And this is only standard difficulty. I'm very terrified for Expert. <sighs> okay. Let's see how the Blue Falcon fares compared to the good old awful golden fox it sounds like i don't know it sounds like a name of one of the f shitty fireworks that like you buy them in the big fireworks pack like a golden fox and then you light it and it was like oh that was it <laughs> that's kind of what it, the golden fox sounds like in my personal opinion you better not be messing up my recording over there okay I got faith in you, El Gato, the cat. Why is the El Gato called the cat? I mean, the software, hardware, and software, the company. I don't mean, like, why is the cat called the cat? Because I don't need to know how language was formed. I don't really care. Why did we put certain sounds to certain things? Except for onomatopoeia, none of it makes sense. And, you know, a lot of onomatopoeia doesn't make sense in the first place. Don't you knock me off, Mr. Goro! Is he an actual samurai? Oh, Samurai Goro is confirmed to be a Japanese-American. Which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, you know, implying that Japan and America still existed. And he looks pretty Japanese-American. Well, he looks pretty Japanese. All the characters in this game, except for... Well, all the human characters, human-looking characters, look pretty Japanese. And by all, I mean two out of the three, because Dr. Stewart looks pretty American. Why is Japan so American-centric? Oh my god, I cannot believe this. All the Golden Fox is garbage compared to this. Whew, I can't wait to play the Green Jugular, the Green Juke. The Green Giant. The Jolly Green Giant. I don't remember what his name, the name for his machine is. The Poison Viper. The Green Snake. The, I don't remember. Okay, we're in the home stretch now, buddy. And we did it. The Queen League is over with a good, consistent first place. And next time I get to play as Pico in on expert mode, and I'm not good as Pico. And enjoy that results music while I give a good old stretch. Oh my god! Oh, 40 minutes, that is twice as long as it took last time. It's gonna take at least an hour for this next one if I'm that awful. I mean, I guarantee you I'm gonna get at least a game over. Hopefully no more than two. I am highly determined to not use restore points. I refuse to use re restore points. If I say I'm determined, that's going to open the window later. And I'm going to use it, you know, try to put it in like a joke form or something. But it's not going to excuse the fact I use restore points. Like I did in games like... I forgot I did in games like, uh... <laughs> Take my word for it, there's a few games where I cheated on here. Okay, great. We'll see you next time for, oh, 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 you know, Zelda 2. That's one of the games I use save states on. I think All Night Nippon, I used them a little bit. I shouldn't have done that. 